What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honey back to deliver another day to us, you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those are what of you who have been rocking with me from the start. I appreciate you guys so very much. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like right here, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below. You may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel, you guys. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you are interested in personal, check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. We're going to go ahead and dive right into the message. I thought we would start off with um, messages from your spirit team. Um, this card here reads, learn when to say no, avoid clutter, slow down, and quiet your mind. So I feel like at this time, some of you, you may be bombarded with a lot of things that's going on in your life. They want you to take a step back. Um, they want you to reanalyze, analyze, reanalyze, see where it is you're putting too much pressure on yourself. Um, they also wanting you to avoid situations um, that you can. And I say, when I say avoid, I mean learning when to say no. Um, learning when to say no when you can, when it when it's necessary. Um, you know, it's okay to want to help people, you guys, but you have to realize that you can't save everyone sooner or later like people are going to have to start helping themselves you can't always be the emotional dumpster where people come um to lay their burdens on you know like just like you do they can go to god they can go to the universe like you have to allow people to you have to learn to allow people to rely on themselves you can't be everything for everyone um without being that for yourself first right um it's okay to want to love on and help the people that you admire and love the most but also remember that you are someone as well. You cannot, you can't pour from an empty cup. Like your cup has to be uh, filled in order for you to pour, right? And I feel like at this time, some of you I hear are at a, a, a phase in your life where you're just exhausted. Like you're taking on too much, you know, especially when you you're keep pouring from your cup and no one, they're not pouring back into your cup. Um, It becomes empty. You're drained at this time. They also want you to quiet the mind, um, try to get in bed an hour earlier or, you know, just turn off the TV at night or just unplug, unwind, like put the computer down if you can, um, just make some quiet time, some alone, alone time for yourself, slow down, like you're doing too much at this time, right? And, um, even if you're frustrated, the universe wants you to know that you are making your dreams come true. Um, you don't have to fight so hard. I feel like the, the toughest battle, the toughest part is already over. Um, just know that whatever you want, wherever you are, you're right. So where you're supposed to be, all of your dreams, all of your desires, they're manifesting for you right now. It's just going to take a while for them to get to you. But in the meantime, and in between time, they want, ooh, excuse me, they want you to slow down. I know why I'm hearing heartburn. Some of you may suffer with heartburn. Um... Are you maybe breathing heavy, more heavily than norm, normal lately? Wow, that's specific. It says you miss the beauty when you are stressed. Be gentle with yourself. Be messy sometimes. Let it all go. Yeah, you, everything doesn't have to always be in order. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to run yourself crazy. You're going to stress yourself out um, seeking perfection. Nothing and no one in this world is perfect. Like, if we were all perfect, we would not have reincarn been reincarnated back here. We're here because we have lessons to learn. It's okay to get some. It's okay to get some shit wrong. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like just be gentle with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like we are often our own worst critic. Like if a friend would come to you in need and you know struggling to find meaning of life, you wouldn't kick that person while they're down. So why do you do it to yourself, right? Give me one more. Give me one more. I'm going to dive into the messages. What else, Spirit? It says, don't compare your life to others. Your journey is your own. Right. So you, you may be looking out and everyone out here is living their best life. And, you know, you, you, you're looking at it like, when is it going to be my turn? Your turn is coming. Look, it says, be patient. Trust the way everything is coming together. Your turn is coming. It's coming. 
They want you to believe in yourself and your ability to, to, to carry out your dreams. Like, you're right where you're supposed to be. Don't beat yourself up because it doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out the first time. Y'all know what I say about the alphabet. The alphabet is composed of 26 letters. If plan A doesn't work, mosey on to plan B. If that don't work, go on to plan C. Until you get on down the line, sooner or later, one of them is going to work. And it's going to turn out better than what you expected. So don't don't beat yourself up. And most importantly, don't quit. It's not that you, you I feel like you, um, you know, you, you, you have to keep pushing forward. Like never give up. But also in the meantime, in between time, you also need to pray for the strength to keep up with it once you get to where you're going. Like, have you thought about that? Like, what are you going to do whenever you achieve what it is you're going to achieve? How are you going to maintain that? How are you going to keep up with that? These are things that they want you to think about at this time. While you wait, because your dreams are coming true. They're manifesting for you. They're coming. It says you're creating a you that you will be proud of. So stop beating yourself up. You're, 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 you're exhausting yourself. You're exhausting yourself. Keep going. And here we go. You're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between all your hard work. And that's what I said. Like, be mindful of how it is that you're treating yourself. Um, Like, don't beat yourself up. Like, you're not a failure. You're not a, qu a quitter. I hear someone saying, I can't do this shit. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can do anything that you set your mind to. Anything. Let me roll the dice. Uh, let me see possible zodiac signs um, that you may be. I always forget this part. Gemini is here. Oh, Gemini here again. <laughs> Pisces. Hmm, Pisces again. So this is this could be. We had two Gemini, two Pisces. So I'm leaning toward more toward mutable sign energy. So mutable signs or Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. So yeah, look, and the card that flipped out, like the victory is the battle. You you already won. You already won. Look at far how far you look at where you come from compared to where you're all, where you are now. There are times in your past where you prayed for the things that you have now. You prayed for to be where you are at this time. Like and you're there. You're right where you're supposed to be at this time, right? Three of Pentacles. You have, um, like I said, they're working it out. They're working it out behind the scenes. Your spirit team is working shit out behind the scenes so that your level up will be profound is what I hear. Like, Ace of Cups, for a lot of you, you have new love coming towards you. After heartbreak, you may be questioning the universe, like, when is it going to be my time? Like, I'm ready for my person. You know, I'm ready to settle down. When is it going, you know, everyone is happy and loving relationships. And you're still out here looking for your counterpart. But listen, you guys, the universe is not going to send you anything half baked. They're not going to send you anything that is not on your level. Like you have um, an emperor an emperor coming towards you. Like someone that's going to be about you. Someone that's going to protect and provide. That's going to be a victorious connection. You don't have to go to, to them. This person is going to come to you. This person is going to want to succeed with you. What you need to focus on right now is keeping your getting and keeping your finances intact. They want you to focus severely on self at this time. You have someone coming in. Look. The Wheel of Fortune is going to turn your favor. And look what's under the deck. The, the Chariot. Like, once you move on, you heal from heartbreak. The, that heartbreak that heartbreak that you endured in the past. Love relationships. Being overlooked for jobs. Being overlooked for opportunities. Whatever it may be. Like, friends talking down on you. Like, people hating. That's you, You're coming out of that. Like, you, you, you're you up on a brand new um, beginning in life. Love is going to look good. Money is going to look good. You're going to have stable friendships, people that you can count on, people that you can rely on. You're going to have offers coming in, like people that are go that are going to be willing to work with you, you know? Like it's going to be a solid energy. You have a love offer coming in. For a lot of you have a love com offer coming in. And I, like don't sabotage it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, For a lot of you, you, you've waited so long for a love like this. Oh, is that a song? Is it Summer Walker? Well, she says, I've been waiting so long for a love like this. 
you have a love that's coming in, a love offer that's coming in, but what the universe wants you not to do is don't self-sabotage it. Like, I understand it took a long time for it to get towards you. So, when it gets to you, you may be thinking, like, it's too good to be true. But this is going to be your counterpart. This is going to be someone that is going to want to marry you. Like I said, protect and provide. This is a Ten of Cups situation. I'm mean, sorry. I said Ten of Cups, but this is Ten of Pentacles. So, it's gonna, not only it's going to be Ten of Pentacles, it's going to be... um it's going to be abundant and it's going to be emotionally satisfying and fulfilling for you like i said two of cups in fact this person may have their sights set, set on you at this time this may be someone that you know like you know this person may be trying to figure out like you may be so focused on your work at this time this person may think that you don't have time for love at this time but you do have someone that's on your on your heels someone is watching you this person is ready to invest and fall in love this person is gonna love you. This person is gonna love your dirty drawers okay? as they say. But then again, spirit doesn't want you to be so defensive that you miss the opportunity. And spirit it says that's the damn truth. I know this was a short message, you guys. Um, but I hope this helps y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.